bars and by buddy caps. Now this bar by far is the gold standard when it comes to deadlift bars, even more so than the Oki deadlift bar or the newer. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again in the basement to talk more barbells today. And we're gonna be talking about the strong arm sport conventional deadlift bar. That's right, conventional deadlift bar because they've taken a specialty bar like a deadlift bar and made it a little bit more special by offering both sumo or conventional variations depending on how you like to pull. Now for this video, I'm gonna be showing you the conventional version because that's how I pull. But just before I forget, the main difference between the two is where the knurling on the bar is. So the conventional version is very similar to other deadlift bars out there where there's a smooth center and the knurling's on the outside because when you think about how you set up for a conventional deadlift, your legs are in the center and your hands are on the outside. So you want the smooth part to be in the center. On a sumo pull, obviously you're going to take a much wider stance and your grip's going to be between your legs so in this case, the knurling is going to be between your legs and the outside is gonna be smooth. Either bar, depending on how you pull, is really crafted to make sure that that knurling isn't rubbing up against your shins and your quads. So that's the main difference between the two. Price point is the same and everything else that I talk about in this video is going to be the same. Now, Strong Arm Sport might sound familiar. I recently reviewed their combo rack, which I'll also link in the description box below. They're a Canadian company, but they've started shipping and made shipping actually more affordable in the United States and other areas as well. So I wanted to get my hands on this bar because they are able to offer a lot of products at a discounted price. And a lot of the times the quality is actually above what the price value is in my opinion. So you get a very good deal. And plus it offers you another option to look at besides the traditional Rogue or Titan, which seems to be what most people really fall into these days. Now, when it comes to deadlift bars, there hadn't been a lot of competition in this area until recently. For the most part, as always, a Texas Power Bar deadlift bar or an Oki deadlift bar. Rogue has recently released a new version. And now you have the Strong Arm Sport version as well. So what is a deadlift bar exactly and why would you want to use one potentially? Deadlift bars typically are viewed as a way to deadlift more and that's really due to the construction of the barbell itself. All Texas deadlift bars, all rogue deadlift bars, Oki, whatever, strong arm sport, you're gonna get a 27 millimeter diameter bar. This is thinner than your traditional power bar, that's 29 millimeters, your traditional weightlifting bar, which is 28. You have hybrid bars out there that are 28 and a half. Some junky commercial bars are even thicker than that. Uh, but this is gonna be the thinnest bar that you're going to find. And the reason behind that is it's going to allow you to grip the bar no matter how big or small your hands are and grip it pretty easily. It's also gonna add more flex or bend and whip to the bar, so thus allowing you to get into a better position. Now, speaking of grip, besides the fact that it's thinner, you'll also find that the knurling on these bars are super aggressive and this strong arm sport bar is no exception. Maybe some of the best aggressive knurling that I've felt, especially given the price point. Usually when you take a look at a bar in this price point area, you typically have more passive knurling. Not the case here, very aggressive, which is great, which again, helps add to your grip. And that's very important when you're talking about deadlifts, because when you think of the main three compound lifts for powerlifting, deadlift, squat, and bench, the deadlift by far is the one that has grip issues the most. So true, you have to grip the bar in squatting and benching, but you don't see as many lifts missed because of a grip issue. Also compounding on that, I mentioned a little bit about the flex. What also helps here with these deadlift bars is the fact that not only are they thinner, but they're also longer. So in most cases, these are about 90 to 91 inches versus a normal barbell, which is usually around 86. So this is longer. And as part of this, the weights are actually further distributed across the bar, which again, helps you get more bend or flex which means when you're pulling, it'll help you get in a better position. Now, one thing I wanna note specifically about the strong arm sport bar is the distance between the sleeves is the greatest of any of the deadlift bars out there. So it's about 56.7 inches between the collars. The Rogue version and the even Texas Power Bars is 56. So you get about almost a full inch difference, which in some cases can make all the difference in the world. Uh, as part of that, another really great thing about this bar is the construction of it. So as you can see from some of these pictures, it's a very high quality bar. And that's what initially really turned me on to it. They posted some pictures of the knurling, which I mentioned already, you typically don't see very good knurling on more affordable bars. And I was like, wow, that looks really good. And I really want to get my hands on it literally and figuratively speaking. Um, and I can tell you that the knurling on this is some of the best that I've felt when it's come to deadlift bars, very aggressive. One of the things that helps with that though is that this is a bare steel bar. Now you can get bare steel bars when it comes to Texas bars, when it comes to Rogue bars, uh, but this one only comes in bare steel. 
However, on the sleeves themselves are actually chrome sleeves, so it's a little bit of an upgrade, so they should stand up a little bit longer. I can say I've had bare steel bars here in my basement before, and they usually hold up pretty well, but depending on your own area and the weather, and if you're in a garage or whatnot, you might wanna take that into consideration that a bare steel bar might require a little bit more maintenance. But this one is held up extremely, extremely well, and the quality is definitely there, again, considering the price point, which I'll talk about more in just a minute. Now, also when it comes to this bar, one of the things that I will say is some people question, do they need a deadlift bar or not? And for the most part, you don't really need a deadlift bar unless you fall into one of two categories. And one is that you compete in a federation that uses a deadlift bar. And in my opinion, it makes more sense to get one because you wanna practice how you play. Or number two, you just like having fun lifting because as I mentioned earlier, usually people can lift more with a deadlift bar, which makes it more fun. And especially in this case where it's very affordable, it might be something you wanna look into to play around with, or maybe you just want a specialty bar with better grip or whatever the case may be. Um, and what's really nice about this, as I mentioned, is the price point is very affordable. So list price for this in the US is right around $240. And I say that and it's kind of hard to kind of come to a concrete price, because as I mentioned, this is a Canadian company, so there is an exchange rate in place. But one of the nice things is, is that the US dollar is pretty strong in Canada, so the price right now is very attractive at around 240. Now for comparison's sake, if you wanna take a look at a Texas power bar, deadlift bar, it's really confusing how they have power bars in their names and then you talk about a deadlift bar, but that's a, a side video that maybe actually if you watch the Texas power bar deadlift bar review, you'll see my comments on it there. But to get a bare steel shaft and chrome sleeves with Texas deadlift bars, I'm just gonna keep it like that because it's easier, uh, the cost is $320 before shipping. So $80 cheaper to go the strong arm sport version. Now when you take a look at Rogue, it's a little bit more difficult to give an apples to apples comparison because while Rogue does have a bare steel shaft, they also have bare steel sleeves. Now that bar starts at 310, so still quite a bit of price savings on there, but they don't have the option to go to the chrome sleeves. You could go Cerakote, uh, but then you talking about jumping up the price to almost $400. So a very big difference, but for the most part, I would compare just the bare steel and bare sleeves to this actual strong arm sport bar. But again, tremendous savings. Now, one of the areas that's not as good as savings is on the shipping. As I mentioned, again, they are in Canada and while their shipping has become more affordable, it's still a little bit more pricey than what you might see through Rogue who does a ton of volume and mostly you can ship a bar for about 15 bucks. So for Rogue shipping, $15. For the strong arm sort bar shipping, you're looking at around $50. One of the nice things though is if you get multiple pieces of equipment from them, they can give you a bundle deal, which might be something you wanna do. Maybe you want a conventional and a sumo deadlift bar, or maybe you want to try the squat bar or the power bar, which is actually highly recommended by me as well. It's very comparable to the Bells of Steel bar that I did a review on a couple weeks ago as well. Uh, but the price point here can't be beat and the quality is actually at, if not even a little bit better in some cases than some of the other deadlift bars that I've had some experience with. Now, when it comes to, will it let you pull more weight? Again, as I mentioned, the distance between the sleeves is a little bit more on this bar, but it won't necessarily let you pull more in comparison to the other bars out there. You might be able to get a better grip because of the knurling, but overall it should perform somewhat similar but again, given the price point, I think this is a very attractive option for a lot of people out there. Um, deadlift bars in general, as I would say, would add more to your weight as far as how much you can lift. A lot of people say you shouldn't get one unless you can pull more than 500 pounds because you won't notice a difference. I don't agree with that necessarily. I do think the more weight you can lift, obviously the more of an impact it's going to have. But again, given the construction of the bar being thinner, more aggressive neural, I do think it'll help you versus maybe a traditional just power bar that you might be used to. How much so again is going to vary on a few other factors. So that's the strong arm sport conventional deadlift bar. The sumo bar is very similar, just the neuraling is a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and show some clips of me lifting with it throughout the course of this video. But if you have other questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next video.